G'day. On the uh, jet board today. Tonight. Can't remember what I was up to, but last time we had a blocked carby. I'll uh, take them off, clean them out, and see if we can get them running again, eh? Whoops. So the new coupling is in. I've got the two motors back in here. I need to start finalizing everything. I'll start securing stuff probably before I do the next test, I think. Because everything's always just shaking apart all the time. Got the front tacked on. I did start making it out of this, but this is only like, I think it's 0.9 alloy. It's way too thin to weld. So I put some point, uh, put some two mil alloy at the front. That was way better. I actually printed this pulley, 3D printed this pulley for another project, but I can use it for this one for the pull start. So I have to route the pull start around this pulley through here, and then it will come up to here, go around this pulley and then back out here. So I should be able to pull start it from here. Always deburr your edges after you get cut. Okay, after putting like a million rivets in there, the lid's on pretty secure. Put my arm through here, or through here to reach stuff. See if it'll take my weight. So this is going to be the air intake. And I'll have a throttle cable that runs inside that with a little trigger to do the throttle. So it's always sucking air from up by my hand. And it shouldn't get full of water. Problem is this pulley has pretty much has just welded itself to the rest of the plastic. I guess I'm pulling it hard, it builds up friction and now it's just totally stuck. I can't even move it. Cut the old pulley out. I got the old pulley out, I had to cut it in half to get it out. I started trying to make an aluminium one in the drill press, but it is not really working, so I'll use the lathe tomorrow to make this properly.
Okay, I've got that little aluminium pulley in there now. I could have avoided it by putting little washer spaces in between that, the plastic. That would have been fine. And I also just put a bolt in here and drilled a hole through it for the wire to feed, the rope to feed through because it was tearing through the PLA. So I'll try this later. So I ended up fully welding this piece off, this back bit. And it's got a little brace there that pushes on the jet unit, so that should take my weight. That's two mil thick as well. I'm guessing when I'm turning on my foot, I'll be right back here to push on it. And I'm just going to silicon around these parts so I can still get the jet unit out. Then I have to make a hatch here, so I'm going to use a piece of wood underneath the aluminium to take my weight. And then I think I might just like glue and screw this over top, run a seal around the outside, and then I've got to figure out a way of clamping it down. This 3D printed part for the jet unit is cracked because I only printed these in low infill to see if it was going to work. So I printed another one, had 100% infill, and then it, I realized that it also cracked this just from undoing it and doing it up too many times. So I printed another one of those. Um, it's about 40% infill, but I did really high wall thickness, so the, the sides will be really strong. And also, I can print it this way up instead of the other way up, I did for this one. But it's printed a weird false wall in here, there must be a mistake on the drawing. But it's alright, I can just cut that out. I've glued and screwed that bit of plywood to this aluminium here, but I need to make it curved, so I've put the whole bench on top of it. You curve it, hopefully when the glue sets it stays like that. Maybe I should put some water on here, will that make it bend more? I don't know, I better try it. All right, there's the first one, didn't work out so good. There's the second one on there, I had to grind it down a little bit. And I'm just gonna try and get that into there. All right, that's actually worked out pretty good. It's so tight on there that I don't really need a screw or nothing to secure it. But the inner for this cable doesn't go all the way through, so I'm gonna to have to go find another one. All right, I couldn't find any longer uh, cable inner, so I have to weld two together. So this is gonna be tricky. Okay, the, the welder's on eight amps. Let's see if we can do this. I couldn't actually, is this focusing? Focus. I couldn't grind this small enough to work. It wouldn't fit through the cable without separating the wires. So I printed this thing here in the 3D printer to extend it. I'll try and show you a side profile of that.
All right, I've got that throttle hooked up. I've got a couple of rubber bands down there to make it return a bit better. So that's working, hooray. Finally, that took ages. So it'll just suck air through here. Another thing I've got to do is wire in the two kill switches. But I've got these two little switches that you can like click together. So when you push it, it does both. So I can use that to wire up the two kill switches to one wire. A bit of a run through of what we've got going on. The new 3D printed parts are on here. We've got the coolant line comes the water through the jet into here. Through that, through this cylinder, through this pipe, through this cylinder, out here. This is going to be inside the board and I need to 3D print a little thing here, like a towel, so it squirts water out the front so I can see it's pumping water. And we've got the pull start here that comes back in here. We've got the throttle hooked up that I just showed you. I've got a fuel filter in this time. The off switch, I still need to print a, a button for the off. I might just have a button, I don't know, probably up the front with a rubber over it so I can push it and it's all sealed and stuff. But let's give her a run, see if she works. So things left to do is fix this lid down. Uh, the breather for the fuel tank will be a hose that goes on there that'll also come up and maybe go halfway up here or something. So this tank can breathe. I might have to bend these little tags on here, get these throttle cables running a little bit better because they're a bit finicky. The exhaust wasn't mounted, that's why it was super loud. So I had to do that. We're getting close, we're getting close to running guys. All right, let me explain some of the 3D printed parts. Hi, Dan's wife here. There's a link to CG Trader in the description. This is a jet unit Dan is using in this board. Most of the information is in other videos on his channel. It is free, but you have to build your own intake. A subscriber has built one using these files. This is the motor coupler, which took a few tries to get right and is $2 to purchase. A completely 3D printed jet unit that needs a M8 threaded rod and some bearings if you want. Here we have another subscriber, Bruce, known as the eccentric Kiwi creative, who printed off the impeller and made castings from aluminium. He made this great video for Dan to share, so many thanks to Bruce. His social media details are also listed in the description below. Hope you enjoy the casting video. This JetSurf 3D printing community is really awesome. Really helpful comments. Thanks guys. And thanks for your pictures in that. Uh, thanks to my wife for helping out. It's getting real busy. Sorry if I can't answer everybody's questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.